Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to use UE4 animation packs inside Unreal Engine 5.1. To begin, we create a new project. In the Epic Launcher, I'm going to download my animation pack. In this case, I'm using a free animation pack. I'm going to choose my project and add it to it. Inside Unreal Engine 5.1, here is our animation pack. If I go into the animations folder and open one up, as we can see, it uses the old UE4 mannequin. Let's add the UE5 mannequin first. Go to Add, Add Feature, and choose third person. Add it to the project. Now if we go into characters and mannequins, meshes, we have the new mannequins. Here is Manny. Okay. So let's retarget these animations onto the UE5 mannequin. Go into the animations folder of your pack and select all the animations. Right click and choose retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget animation assets. In IK retargeter, choose RTG UE4 Mane. UE5 Mane. Hit change and go to your animation pack and the animations folder and create a new folder, in this case UE5, and hit OK. Hit retarget. You now have animations that work on the UE5. Five mannequin. Great. Let's now expand upon this a little further. I'm going to add a meta human. Go to Quixel Bridge. Click Meta Humans. Here are the Meta Human presets. You would simply choose a Meta Human, choose the quality, click Download, and then when it's complete, you add it to your project. I have a Meta Human downloaded already. I'm going to choose the quality, in this case medium, and I'm going to add it to my project. Enable the missing plugins and project settings and restart the engine. Okay, let's open up our MetaHuman, go to the MetaHumans folder and find the blueprint. And here is our MetaHuman. The first thing I want to do is fix the hair, because as you can see there's a problem with it. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to set the LOD sync to 1 and forced LOD to 0 and compile. That's it. OK, so 
Click on body and find the skeletal mesh asset in the details panel. Double click it and it will open up your body mesh. Let's find the skeleton for this mesh. Hit the skeleton icon. Here is our metahuman. Over in asset details, we have this compatible skeletons feature. Hit the plus icon and search for metahuman base skeleton. That is this skeleton. Hit plus again and search for SK Mannequin. That is the UE5 skeleton. Hit plus again and find SK Mannequin skeleton. That is the UE4 skeleton. Hit save. Double click on SK Mannequin. This opens up the skeleton for the UE5 mannequin. Hit the plus icon and type SK Mannequin. That is this skeleton. Click plus again and type SK Mannequin Skeleton. That is the UE4 skeleton. And finally, search for MetaHuman Base Skeleton. Great. Right, we've got one more to do, so click on SK Mannequin Skeleton and it should open up the UE4 Mannequin. Again, we're going to repeat this and we're going to do SK Mannequin Skeleton first. Click the plus icon again, type SK Mannequin. Click the plus icon again and search for MetaHuman Base Skeleton. Hit save and save all. And now we can close all these skeletons except for the metahuman. And we can preview an animation now on the metahuman. Let's say choose this one. And there we go. You now have animations that work with your metahuman. If your pack comes with its own skeleton, you can find out this by going into your animation folder, in this case, general purpose animations. And look, here is a UE4 mannequin. If we go in there and click the mesh, it has its own skeleton. Now, if we select this skeleton and what we can do is repeat the process from before. So let's type UE4 mannequin skeleton because that's the name of this skeleton it's always first click the plus icon and find sk mannequin skeleton and then sk mannequin and then let's add the metahuman metahuman base skeleton here we are and then hit save the skeleton's now set up, but we have to go through each one and add the skeleton from our pack. So we had it here as well. Hit save. And let's add it to the original UE4 mannequin. There we go. It's better to do it this way, as the one that comes with your pack may have additional bones and sockets, and you don't want to lose those. I hope you found this useful. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.